what's up guys we're here welcome back to the channel so i've been theory crafting a lot with my community shout out to the warriors of the saiyan race during my live streams here on youtube we've been theory crafting like crazy and we put together a leveling build for each class inside of diablo that you can use at the start of launch okay we're going to be doing uh all leveling builds and then we're also going to be talking about some end game builds eventually we're going to have all this stuff shared for you guys all the links and then of course i'm going to have spreadsheets for you just so you can see exactly how to level and advance the your character as well as how to spend your renown points, what skills to take at when you level up, and then any modifications that you're gonna have to the build will be down here in the spreadsheets and I'll have all this stuff shared for you um, down in the description below. So guys, let's get into our first and foremost. Let's get into the class that I'm gonna be playing at the start of the season, which is the Druid, okay? So we have a Druid Earth leveling build. You're gonna be very, very, very tanky. Big shout out to Demon for winning the competition that we had during our live streams with our community. And because he won, I have to start as a Druid at launch instead of the Rogue that I wanna play. So let's get right into this, man. Uh, love you, Demon. So we're gonna go over the skill tree first, guys. This build is pretty straightforward, okay? Um, this is a wear bear build. We're gonna be doing Pulverize. But we're going landslide first because we got to get an aspect for the power. Now, before we get into the full nitty gritty, I do want to know aspects in all of our leveling builds. And I'll do this for everything is these are codex powers. You see how it says codex on there. That's why you only see four. All of the class builds are only going to have codex powers. What this means is, is that codexes are ones that you can get from doing the dungeons. Okay, these are guaranteed legendary powers that you can get from getting dungeons, which is why we're getting them. Anything that you get that we would want to use, for example, if it's an armor or anything else to keep us like in werebear form or werewolf form, whatever the case is, these are random drops. So we don't know if we can get this and I don't want any of the leveling builds for you guys to not be able to be used because you're waiting on a particular legendary. So that's why we're only doing codexes, okay? So with that said, let's get into the build. So I think arguably the best build or the best generator is probably Stormstrike. There's some really good poison builds out there that use Claw, but we're going Stormstrike all the way down into Fierce Stormstrike to, to get make them not only be able to be stunned or excuse me, immobilized, but we're gonna make them vulnerable as well, okay? Makes them super, super weak and crowd controlled, which really helps us out. Then we're going Landslide. I mean, besides Tornado, Landslide is probably the best leveling skill until we get our Codex for Pulverize. So we're going Landslide all the way down to Primal Landslide, uh, where we get our Terra Motes and then we can automatically crit for a lot of damage, okay? Next in our passives, we're going Predatory Instinct. Instinct. Critical strike chance against close enemies is increased by 6%. We're always gonna be up close. There is no range really on this build. You could argue that landslide is, but we're gonna be up close and personal because of storm strike anyway. So that really benefits us. Next, we're going heart of the wild to increase maximum spirit by nine. And then we're doing three points into abundance for basic skills generate 18% more spirit. We're really gonna need this on the back end because pulverize costs a lot. So then we come down, we take probably the one of the best Arguably the best skills for the Druid is Earth and Bulwark with um, Enhanced to be Unstoppable as well as casting Earth and Bulwark is going to give us Fortify. We are going to be super tanky since we're going to be a melee Druid. We're going to be super tanky. Uh, and then Blood Howl. Blood Howl is going to heal us. Then we got Enhanced Blood Howl when we uh, kill an enemy. It's going to reduce the cooldown. So we're going to pretty much have this up almost nonstop especially in the later levels. Then we have Blood Howl uh, Innate, which is gonna generate more spirit, which is huge for when we spam Landslide into Pulverize. Next, we have um, Poison Creeper, which is a automatic skill that you need to take with uh, Landslide. So uh, Poison Creeper is gonna put out an AOE, not only immobilizing them with the Enhanced, but it's gonna poison them as well, okay? And then we have the increased duration of poison, increases by three, three more seconds. If you wanted to do the one where your critical strike chance is increased by 20% against enemy strangle, you could take that, you, could, you definitely have that option, guys, but either one is fine. We want the uh, increased duration to poison because of this passive right here, Neurotoxin. They're slowed, but more importantly, in Venom. Poison enemies take an additional 30% critical strike damage. And since we're gonna be automatically critting with our primal landslide because of the terror emotes, uh, enemies that are 
um, poison, we're just going to deal even more damage, which is insane. Uh, then we have Crushing Earth. Earth skills deal 15% increased damage to slowed, stunned, and mobilized our knockback enemies. So this is really, really good. Almost everything that we're going to be attacking with is going to be Earth, or at least our main stuff. Then we have one point into Safeguard. Critical Strikes with Earth skills fortify us for 2% base life. With Earth and Bulwark and a lot of our skills, guys, we're going to be fortified pretty much nonstop, which is the main reason why we become super tanky. <clears throat> For mobility, thank God that the Druid does have something, but we have Trample. Okay, we're taking Trample, which is going to be another thing that gives us Unstoppable, which makes us very strong in melee against cc um, stuff from enemies because Bulwark also gives us Unstoppable here with Enhanced. Then we go down to Enhanced Trample, which we deal more damage. We don't really care about the damage with Trample, it's just for really mobility. And then we have Natural Trample, which gives us uh, even more Fortified. Now, if you don't like this on trample to even more fortify because we're going to be generating it so much anyway then just auto swap us to, to savage trample because then you get more spirit which allows you to uh, spam pulverize or landslide even more but right now we're going to do the fortify until i feel like i don't need it probably in the early game you could probably do this and then when you get to the later game you're going to want to swap so uh, you can pick and choose between there um then we come down to quick shift when shape shifting uh when a shape shifting skill transforms us into a different form we deal 15% increased damage. So we have Werebear, we have Werewolf, and then we have Stormstrike, uh, which is going to be human. Okay. This is huge. So we're going to be nonstop transforming between all three of our forms. So we're going to get 15% increased damage pretty much all the time. Then we come over here to Defensive Posture, increases the amount we fortify from all sources by 15%. We are going to be tanky. Then we come down here and all three of these are pretty much mandatory. So we're going Defiance. Nature Magic deals 12% increased damage to elites. This is huge for taking down bosses with a single target. Natural Disaster, our Earth skills deal 12% increased damage to vulnerable enemies, which we will have from our Storm Strike. And then our Storm skills deal 12% increased damage to enemies that are already stunned and mobilized or knocked back. Then we have Resonance. Nature Magic deals 6% increased damage, triple the bonus. If an Earth skill is the next skill cast after Storm, or a Storm skill is the next cast after an Earth skill. We really want to hit this on doing Storm Strike first, and then into Pulverize. That's where we're really going to hit for a lot of damage, and vice versa. It's nice on the back end after uh, Pulverize we hit with Storm Strike. That's fine. It's still 18% more damage, but still, we really like this to hit on Pulverize. Then for our big ultimate super duper power down here we take our one point in urzine strength we gain 20 percent additional max life while in werebear form and for three seconds after leaving werebear form and then while we're healthy we deal 30 percent increased damage this is huge we're going to be super tanky have a lot of life and we're going to deal a crap ton of damage um <clears throat> the only other one that i would take over this is probably earth and might in this build because it's all going to be earth um this is kind of nice, but really in the end, Urzine Strength is probably one of the best that the uh, Druid has. Bestial Rampage is not bad, and the Nature's Fury is actually pretty good too. But for this build, we're going to be up close and personal, so we just want to stay super healthy and just deal a lot of damage. So um, this build is really, really good. So I will note, and you guys will see it down in the, um, uh, the spreadsheet, so we're going to go check out our gear and skills, okay? So down to our spirit boons. We have deer. We're going to take advantageous, advantageous beast. Uh, it reduces the duration of it, control and pairing effects by 15%, which is really good. Now, honestly, any of these are solid, but because we're going to be so up close, I really like this. I don't want to be CC'd. Max spirit is also very good. And then 10% damage reduction against elites and bosses is pretty good too. Uh, we're maxing out with Eagle because we want the critical strike chance. And then we also want gain 30% critical strike damage. This is huge. So while we're in the landslide portion, we're going to be dealing a lot of damage. Uh, for Wolf, we're taking Bolster. We fortify 10% of our maximum life when we use the defensive skill. We have two of them. Then we have Snake, which is uh, the Obsidian Slam. So every 10th kill will cause our next Earth skill to overpower which is going to be pulverize or landslide so those are our spirit boons now up to our gear and skills guys so 
we don't, we have very few with these. I didn't want to take super generic ones like, hey, basic attack skills deal 30% more, or, or attack, have 30% more increased attack speed. Those are going to kind of be up to you guys. I'm going to let you guys pick and choose those things. Um, the aspects and codexes that I really wanted to use are specific for the build at hand. And these are ones that I feel like you guaranteed you have to have, okay? So first we're starting with Skinwalker's Aspect. When we shape, we use the shape-shifting skill that changes our form, we gain X life. If you are at full life, then we gain the same amount as Fortify. So this is good. This is going to help us stay fortified all the time. Next is our, uh, our excuse me, our uh, Ballistic Aspect. When we Fortify, our Earth, skill, our Earth skills gain two ranks. So not only are we going to be super tanky, but now all of our skills are going to be two more ranks stronger, which is even better for us. Then we have aspect of retaliation. Our core skills deal up to 20, uh, up to 40% increased damage based on your amount of fortify. Our fortify is going to be very high, so we're sh we should have a very good bonus to damage, and our core skill is going to be pulverize, um, or it's going to be landslide. You can really pick between the two, but pulverize is where it's at. And then this is the bread and butter of the entire build. Now, now for the slots, guys, really, I would swap out Urzine up to here, or you put Urzine on your weapon. I just have it over here just as a general placement so you guys can see it. Um, Pulverize is now a Earth skill. After casting Pulverize, Tectonic Spikes continue to deal X damage over two seconds. The additional X damage is fine, but Pulverize becomes an Earth skill. So now, instead of this being just a werebear skill, now it's also an earth skill. So we're going to be able to fortify and have all of our passives that give us more damage when we're using earth skills. And then we have ballistic aspects, so our earth skill is going to do two more. So now pulverize is two ranks higher. So the reason that we're taking landslide first instead of pulverize is because you unlock this by completing the Belfry Zakara in Hawazir. This is Act 5, okay? So you can't get this power until Act 5. Even though it's a dungeon, and we're going to be able to automatically get it, we can't get it till Act 5, which is the reason why we're doing Landslide first. Now, with that said, obviously along the way, guys, you're going to be able to find, you know, there's going to be legendary powers that drop. If you happen to get this one early, let's say you get it in Act 2, then all you do is you just come over and you swap out Landslide and then you just use Pulverize. And then you're using Pulverize for the rest of the game. So this is really the main aspect and kind of what we're going for. Now, with all of our leveling builds, guys, there's no Paragon stuff because this is only leveling until you hit 50. Our end game builds are going to be all about our Paragon. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that is the build, guys. And this is the build that I'm going to be running at launch for my druid i really do hope that this leveling build helps you out and that the the uh spreadsheet is really going to be a very good guide for you i really do encourage you guys to tweak anything you know anything that you guys don't like maybe swap stuff out that really just kind of fits more of your play style just use this as a base uh, me and my community are you know we're, we're fairly proud of the, some of the builds that we came up with we think they're really cool and unique and you know, just cool stuff to play, especially for any skill level of players. So comment down below, guys. What do you guys think about this build? And uh, if there's any builds that you guys want to see us do or you would like to see me cover and go over, let me know down in the comments or go down into the description and join our Discord and get real active in there. We theory craft nonstop pretty much all the way up until Diablo 4 starts. So, guys, really do appreciate you guys watching this video. Thank you guys so much. And uh, as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.